Okay, so what we're looking at is some first looks at tablets with a 4K screen. This is powered by the Snapdragon 805 processor. And these screens are actually at 4,000 pixels, actually 3,840 pixels by 2160. Uh, similar to what you see on a 4K TV. This is the first time you really see it in a uh, reasonable sized tablet. You know, could, something that could become commercial towards the end of this year. Mm -hmm. well, this is just an example of a movie that's streaming at 4K. And could you tell us a bit about the you know, change in format that's going to come when... Oh, sure. These movies are encoded in what's called HEVC, or it's a, a format called H.265. Mm -hmm. Similar to most MPEG movies that you see today are in H.264. Uh, H.265 is a higher level of compression. It's about a 40% better compression to allow for much higher resolution because it's going to be four times as many pixels could take four times as much data unless you find a better way to compress that data. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, using that new compression, a uh, two-hour movie would roughly be how many? Roughly 40 gigabytes, okay. we're expecting. Okay. And so, whether you stream it or you download it, it's still a lot of data. Okay. And we could be seeing 4K tablets maybe later this year? Potentially around the end of the year. Yeah. That's really up to our OEM customers. Mm -hmm. But battery life won't be uh, impacted too much. Well, battery life's not really impacted as much as you might think. Uh -huh. The backlight is the biggest consumer of battery life uh, on any mobile device. The backlight is just a function of size, of square millimeters. Uh -huh. So that doesn't really change. When we move to higher resolution like this, we do have to push more pixels. But we've gotten more efficient about compressing that data in between the device and the screen itself. We use what we call four, uh, frame buffer compression. Also in how we generate those pixels. This game that you're playing is using the Adreno 420 GPU, or graphics processing unit. It's about 15% more power efficient than the previous generation. Mm -hmm. So even though it's considerably more powerful. Yeah. Okay. So battery life should be you know, around the same as for full HD tablets? Yeah, I would expect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.